third race here at Chepstow. It's the two mile, three furlongs ISF Novice Chase. If I was to be precise, it's two miles, three furlongs and 110 yards. Ali Savannah, the favourite for Craig Allen. Uh, it's had a steady start of the season, but can it get that first win on the board? Al Bergul Brath for Alex Cherry, Merchants Hill, Graham Clutterbuck, St. June, Jude Paul Rhodes, Ice Gem Craig Beckwith and the assassin Joshua Sutherland and they're off so the joint favourites here come from two of the top stables Hemsworth Farms has Ali Savannah here for trainer Craig Allen just racing quite keenly as the front uh, front runner so far and the other is the assassin for Joshua Sutherland so those two um, probably have the best form on offer which is why they're going off at 9-4 to four favourite it isn't just who the trainer is they've got the best form to back it up so far really interesting race he was 16 fences to jump over this two mile three and a half furlong race for novices so all eyes will be on the likes of the golden miller novices chase uh, and the cheltenham festival and races of that ilk if any of these can put in a great performance today so all of them have jumped pretty well so far and we've got two miles left to travel oof bad mistake from the assassin commentator's curse there they had all jumped well until that one absolutely plowed through that fence and the jockey's just taking a while to re-steady the horse. Uh, it's just allowed Merchant's Tail to go up along past it. And the jockey's not panicking or anything on uh, on the assassin. Novices can make a mistake, and it was a very novicey jump. Just got in far too tight. Didn't get off the ground. Just ploughed straight through it. And the jockey did well to stay on board as they got to the other side. As they start swinging left-handed here at Chepstow, they've then got a small hill to climb on what's quite an undulating track as they approach uh, they go away from the stands and start to go to, out towards the back straight and it's been Ali Savannah that's led since the tapes went up St Jude is now the horse in second for Paul Rhodes in third we've got Ice Gem a couple of lengths behind that one the Assassin's just travelling on the outside of that one and about to go up alongside it the jockey's just bustling uh, that one along for a few strides and towards the rear of the field we've got Merchant's Hill and Alba Gubrath so as they come over that next flight oh all of them jump that really well and that's the 11 furlong marker that they've gone past as well so it's Ali Savannah still in the lead St Jude closer than ever as they come in the next flight the front two get over it quite nicely the Assassin's just being a bit more cautious at its fences but it's jumping them absolutely fine as they come the next one there you go the Assassin puts in a deadly jump there just flies over it and moves into second place passing St Jude relegating that one to third as they come to the next one good jump up front from Ali Savannah slightly better than the assassin and then we've got St Jude in third a couple of lengths back to Ice Gem Merchants Hill and Alba Gubrath are back markers as they come over the next fence good jump from all of them slightly slow at the back from Alba Gubrath and a mile left to travel now and it's still Ali Savannah in the lead for Craig Allen in those green and gold hoops really quick jump again there from the assassin that's much more like it shows it's got some really good jumping in at this horse and let's see how well it jumps once the pressure's on towards the end of the race so Ali Savannah still leads hasn't seen another horse since the tapes went up and the trainer will be hoping it stays that way as they start to swing left-handed and come back towards the home straight here at Chepstow Ali Savannah still in the lead a couple of lengths back to the assassin who's still trying to close the St Jude who dropped off the pace is now trying to pick up and stay back on again Ice Gems moving forward as well and has just about gone into third position there Merchants Hill behind those and you can forget about Alba Gabrath that's not winning this one today so four and a half furlongs left to go as they come to that next fence Ali Savannah got over it well the assassin wasn't too quick again and that's allowed Ice Gem to move up and pass that one St Jude back in fourth uh, Merchants Hill trying to stay on as they come to the next another measure jump from Ali Savannah the assassin put in a good jump there and that allowed it to go back up into second but the jumping's been a bit inconsistent and Ali Savannah's really squeezing them now and pings that fence there and goes into a really commanding lead here for Craig Allen and is picking up the pace certainly not slowing down as we come into the final two furlongs another good jump from Ali Savannah Ice Gem has uh, stayed on into second place and it looks like the Assassin's beat as we come towards the final flight and the final furlong Ali Savannah cautious at it and it's allowed the gap to close but I think the jockey just wanted to make sure it got to the other side because nothing's going to get close to it look over the right shoulder little push out for a few strides just to make sure that the horse keeps up with that good work and maintains a good six length advantage over the rest of the field I think it was Ice German the Assassin battled each other for second place but 
the best jumper, the most consistent jumper, won that race in the end. And a really good performance, novice performance from Ali Savannah to win from uh, the Assassin. Yep, five and three quarter lengths is the distance, official distance. Ice Gem back in third for Craig Beckwith, St. Jude fourth for Paul Rhodes and Merchants Hill back in fifth. But those three were a long way away from the winner. That's Ali Savannah.